the annual Eagle River Watershed Council's River Cleanup is coming up, and here to tell us all about it is Michael Plimling. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. So this is your annual cleanup, and you guys have been doing this for a long time. Yes, we have. This will be the 23rd annual Eagle River Cleanup, so we've been doing this for quite a while. And what exactly is the Watershed Council? What do you all do when you're not doing the cleanup? Yep, so uh, the Watershed Council, we, ad we advocate for the health and conservation of the rivers and streams here in Eagle County. And one of the ways that we do this is through our annual cleanups. We have our highway cleanup in the spring and our river cleanup in the fall. Oh, I didn't know you guys also did the highway cleanup. Yep, yep, we run the highway cleanup as well, which is another big community event. Yeah, I, um, I participated in that, mm -hmm. and now that section of Highway 6 that I clean, I feel a little bit of ownership over it now, and so now when I see some trash there, I'm like, hey, I just oh, okay. cleaned this up. <laughs> so how much trash do you guys usually get every year? So at the river cleanup, we average around two tons of trash each year. We clean around 70 miles combined of the Eagle River, Gore Creek, and the Colorado River. And does the type of trash or the amount of trash differ between these different waterways? Um, you know, we'll see a lot of trash from people that are just recreating on the river. You know, your boat flips over and you lose some of your stuff. So, right. Um, just a lot of uh, accidental spills and then also some intentional things that people dump just trying to get rid of things that they don't want. And they don't want to drive all the way out to Woolcott to take it to the dump. <laughs> right, right. So they think that a great place would be the river for it. So. That's too bad. Well, what are some of the kind of the interesting things you guys have picked up? Um, so some interesting things we've seen over the years are paradentures. Oh, no. um, just, yeah, I'm guessing of, that was accidental. <laughs> I'm sure that was accidental. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of interesting and, and odd things over the years. So how many volunteers do you think you'll get for this? So this year we're going to have around 350 to 400 volunteers total at the river cleanup. So it's a great community event for families and individuals. And that's a good point. So you can sign up uh, either as a team or as a family? Right. We do still have some sections open all throughout the valley. So whether you're in Eastvale or Gypsum, we'll have something close to you. Um, so you can sign up as an individual or if you'd like to put to dig together a team, you can sign up as a team as well. And when is this happening? So Saturday, September 9th from 9 a.m. to noon is the cleanup. And then afterwards, we'll have our thank you barbecue at the Broken Arrow in Arrowhead from noon to 2 with live music. And it'll be a great community um, event to to come to. Do you have a central location where people are meeting or are they meeting at their section of a river or, or yep. the creek? So team leaders are in charge of organizing where you'll meet and you'll meet at your section of the river and um, go from there and then we'll all kind of meet up at the barbecue and have a great great time afterwards. So you all are still looking for some volunteers for this weekend? We are, yep. And mm -hmm. so how do people volunteer? Yep, so either you can take a look at our website, which is erwc.org, or you can give us a call at 970-827-5406 to sign up. Okay, and um, this year, you know, you mentioned in past years you've gotten about 2,000 tons. Do you mm -hmm. think it's going to be about the same this year? Uh, we do. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll get around a similar amount of volunteers, and we'll be cleaning, uh, you know, around 70 miles of Gore Creek, the Eagle River, and the Colorado River. So... Right around two tons should be what we're averaging this year. So, And is that taken over to our landfill in Wolcott? It is, and then, you know, they're nice enough to weigh it for us, and then we can have a measurement and make okay. sure that, you know, it's kind of fun to see how much we really cleaned up and, uh, you know, saved from uh, emptying into our waterways. Are there any prizes for coming up with the strangest piece of trash? There is. You, you have the chance to win our Talking Fish Award for the most interesting piece of trash. So whatever interesting piece of trash you find out there on the river, you know, take it to the barbecue and we'll have our judges take a look at it and hopefully you can win that award. Michael, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Stay tuned. Coming up next, Megan has your weather.